do you see about risks related to North Korea besides more basketball games? Yeah. So I was with a friend of mine today, I'm not going to identify him, um, who over lunch, and I asked him, he's in a position to be intelligent on this, I asked him what he believed the likelihood was that Rodman is talking to the CIA. He said 100%. My view was 80. It's 100% that Rodman is talking to someone who's CIA, but he's not aware of that. that, that that's 100%. The, the question is whether he's actually proactively helping. What I think about Rodman, uh, we have no information on this country. And here's a guy that somehow has managed to get re go regularly in and talk to the leader. Uh, any American that knows anything in intelligence would want him to keep doing that. There, there's absolutely no question. Not only by himself, but now with other people who might actually be able to say something coherent. <laughs> That's good. I found it really interesting, just a weird thing. So one of the guys that went with Rodman is this Columbia neuroscience professor. Anyone see that? Right? I found that I haven't had a chance to check this out yet. I have no idea if that guy's crazy or not, right? But I will tell you one thing. There is a group in the CIA, and all they do is try to assess on the basis of tapes and all the rest, what on the basis of how people look and how they act and everything, whether or not they have actual mental impairments and emotional impairments, right? <laughs> I want to know why this guy went on that trip. I, I find that interesting, right? It's, it's, you know, and I'm saying these things because we know so little. And this is a place where, yeah, the uncle was executed, and there are now rumors that the aunt, Kim Jong-il's sister, has suddenly had a heart attack. We don't know if they're true or not. The fact is that this is a guy who is doing lots of things that do not comport well with his continuing to be able to rule a totalitarian state. And sudden implosion in North Korea is not something that anybody actually has looked forward to. Now, the, the good news, if you call this good news, is he's such a wild card, and he's gone after somebody, this, this uncle that the Chinese were working in an OK way with, the Chinese have gotten annoyed. And US-China relations on North Korea have actually been a little bit more constructive of late. So were there to be implosion, the potential that the Americans and the Chinese would be able to not beat each other's throats over this issue is not high, but it's, it's a little higher than it was. That's good. But you know, the problem I have is I'm trying to advise people that have massive exposure to South Korean electronics manufacturing and outsourcing. And I don't know what to tell these people because, you know, North Korea implodes, you got a problem there. And yet a lot of these firms like Samsung, they're making things that you couldn't easily re-repurpose or resource into other countries. So it's hard to actually figure out what to do with your South Korea exposure. I, I don't have good answers. I mean, I'm giving you lots of color, so it's at least an amusing answer to your question. It's not a very useful answer to your question, right? I'm just giving you, this is coffeehouse conversation. Mm -hmm.